okutemera entanga uzi afetuwa tujitemera omulundi ogwo kubi biki betulina okuteka kesi what are the things that we are supposed to emphasize I, 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 I will stick to english because uh, of our followers that are beyond the uh, beyond boundaries of uganda we have colleagues in nigeria i have those that are in ghana that are following us so uh when we're earthing up the second time what are the things that we are putting a uh, uh, lot of emphasis on okay i'm going to turn from the camera and then i'll show you those things <laughs> so, sorry <laughs> sorry so this is what it looks like okay when we are earthing up we are basically bringing soil and heaping it on the plant on the shoots because down there we are having our rhizome forming okay and because our rhizome is forming we have to heap it with soil okay and that is what exactly we are doing we don't want the rhizomes to appear on the surface once the rhizomes are exposed on the surface the plant will not continue giving you new shoots and for as long as you don't have new shoots then it's going to be uh, low yield for you we are always after the young what the young shoots you see that so after us this after this stage we expect many more shoots to come about and as the shoots come about they give us the impression that uh, down there we have a lot of rhizomes forming Okay, yeah, so um, basically when we are doing our second earthing up, it is about heaping soil on the rhizomes and that is what uh, she is doing. I'm going to show you in a close. <laughs> hey. Well, I don't know if you are able to see through, but uh, basically it's the same thing that we have been talking about. Put a lot of soil. So, kondageko kuchivaji echi. Okay. So, you see what the plant looks like. You see? That's exactly what it looks like. Okay. So, katinjaga lo chitemere bulunji. So, that's like what he's doing is what we are interested in keep soil on the plant okay 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 so a few things that i would just give as additionals sometimes weeds grow on the boundaries of the what of the garden we also try to manage them okay like these ones we just uh sprayed them with a herbicide i know there's people that don't like herbicides and i'm part of them sometimes really weeds can be notorious and stubborn so what we did uh, we just spray the weeds that are on the sides, okay? But also, uh, beyond that, during this uh, phase of uh, Athena, we try as much as we can to remove the weeds. And like I told you, in Jinga, weeds are removed by, by hands, okay? So we have a team on this other side, and this team is basically uprooting the weeds, okay? They uproot and then bring them down here, like you can see them, okay? So, it's a simple thing. What weeds can do, this is what weeds can do. That is the effect of weeds, okay? When you see that, the plant looks like that. It looks like it is burnt. That is what weeds can do, okay? So we have to be very, very careful, especially at this stage, because normally around this time is when our, our resources have been so spent, okay? And then you feel like, ah, you need to take a break. So be very careful not to lose the crop at this stage. Okay, in case anybody has a question, I'll be very humbled to answer and guide you. In case anybody in 